Okay, so I want to show you guys the integration I built between the uh, iAqualink IQ20 and SmartThings. Um, the main purpose I, I had behind all this is to enable voice integration with the Amazon Echo. Um, so I can be out at a pool um, and voice control this, uh, this stuff. Um, so it's a combination of a smart app and uh, some device handlers to handle the, the different types of things that the... Uh, that are exposed by Aqualink. So we'll add the smart app. And once you've entered your um, uh, your credentials, it'll list the available locations. Right now, I only have it set up um, to pick up one location. Um, but the way I have the uh, everything structured, uh, multiple locations wouldn't be hard to uh, enable. So it'll pull all of the uh, devices and one-touch devices that you have. You can go through and pick the ones that you want to enable. I also have a Pentair multicolored light, which has a bunch of static um, color settings that show up in the iAlcoLink mobile app. Um, so those are listed here. And I made those uh, separate devices because I want to be able to voice control the individual colors. Like, uh, you know, uh, turn on the uh, uh, romance pool light. Um, versus the royal pool light instead of just uh, turning on and off the light itself. So I'm going to enable all those. And I have some extra slots that I don't use, so I'm not going to enable those. And on my one touch, um, the only one I'm really interested in here for voice control is the spa mode. Um, so I go ahead and save that, and what it's going to do is uh, create the individual devices for each of these things. So if we go back into my home, um, we can look at the things that I have. Um, I have a bunch of other devices in here, but I'll show you some of the more interesting um, uh, iAqualink devices. So like I said, um, it, and it, it created a device for each of the um, uh, the individual uh, colors on the lights, and you can see also some devices in here that weren't in the list. Um, so on my home screen in iAqualink, I have my pool uh, uh, and spa uh, uh, heater and thermostat information. Um, so I've created a, a device in SmartThings called the pool thermostat and spa thermostat. Um, right now, the spa thermostat isn't uh, recording or isn't displaying a temperature because I'm in pool mode. So the spa is actually off. Um, and in addition to the spa thermostat and the pool thermostat, I have a pool heater and a spa heater switch. Um, and the reason I did that is because I, uh, uh, Amazon Echo um, doesn't support changing the thermostat's heat setting or mode um, via the voice control. Um, so I added an additional switch in here to be able to turn on the pool heater or the spa heater uh, without having to go to the app. Um, so if we go into like pool thermostat, you'll see the pool temperature, you know, nice little things where the, the temperature change, uh, the color of the icons change based on the temperature and all that. Um, we have, so we have the pool temperature, we have the air temperature, um, uh, we have the heat mode, which is currently off. We have the target temperature and some buttons to turn those up and down and also the status of the controller. So if, for example, it goes into service mode, um, you would see that here. So I can change the target, um, and if you look under like the events that, that come back from SmartThings, you can see everything that's reported by uh, the iAlco link refreshes. Um, so I'm going to leave the target at 84, and I can turn on the heater. So you now if we go back to the iAlco link app, we can see that. those changes are actually reflected in here. So the pool heater is running. Um, you have the same temperature and, and everything in here, and you can see the different set temperatures. So let's see, if I uh, use that switch, now I'll turn off the, um, well, let's go in here and see the pool heater still says off. If I refresh it, it's gonna actually be, uh, it's gonna come back and say that it's been turned on. So I can turn it off from here. And the reason it didn't refresh automatically is because I have the 
smart app set up to um, uh, refresh the status of all the devices every five minutes. Um, you can manually refresh if there's events that cause uh, the individual devices to update, they'll update automatically, but um, these two devices aren't necessarily linked like that, so I had to manually refresh it. If I let it go for five minutes, it would have refreshed. So that's off now. So in addition to you know the, the thermostats and all that, I also have access to my, uh, like I said, the pool lights, um, the uh, wall lights, waterfall, um, so I can tell you know Amazon Echo to turn on the waterfall and uh, it'll work through this. Um, you know, if I wanted to switch uh, to the, the spa mode here is the one touch spa mode device. Um, if I do that, that goes through a bunch of different things. Uh, turns on the, um, it, it switches the valves over from the pool to the spa, turns on the spa heater, turns on the additional jet pump. So let's refresh that. So now the spa is heating, the target's 102, and um, I'm in spa mode. So the spot, you can see the spot heater's on, and the pool is now off. So some of the other cool things you can do with this now that we have SmartThings integrated is I can put some other things around, some other automations around these devices, um, have things happen automatically at specific times or based on events. I can turn on my fire uh, pit um, with voice, but I also i am going to enable a notification so if the fire pit is turned on um, I'll get a message on my phone telling me that that's been turned on. Um, I can also enable presence so uh, if I decide that I don't want the fire pit to be turned on without me uh, at home um, I, I can disable that. So that's about it. Um, I have basically access to everything that's in the iAqualink um, mobile device. Um, via SmartThings, which also means it's uh, accessible via the Amazon Echo. Um, so I'll upload an additional video showing just a basic demonstration of the Echo um, uh, integration, uh, the voice control from outside, so you can see everything working. Thanks for watching.